Hi, I'm Ted. Today I'm going to show you how to make tables and charts in Excel. So I have Excel open here and I have a uh, spreadsheet open and I've uh, started to enter in some information. Um, what, I'm, what I'm going to do just to illustrate uh, some tables and charts is I, I have some names and I'm enter, going to enter in their ages and then I'm going to imagine that they, they did a race and I'm going to put in their times. So we're going to be able to uh, make some bar charts of the age and the time and then we're going to be able to do a, a chart where we're going to chart age and time on a, on a chart. So um, I, let me just to, to show you the idea, but I've already typed this in and to enter in information in Excel you just move your mouse until you get to a cell. Each of these boxes is called a cell and start and just start typing. You don't have to go up to, uh, this is called the formula bar um, up here. You, you don't have to go there. If you're in a cell just start typing and it'll enter it in. So I, have, I already have the headings of the three columns of the information I want in the table uh, shown here. I have name, age, and time. Uh, and let me just click down here and add a few more names. So let's put in Jim and we'll put in uh, Susie. Um, okay, now I, also, I always like to um, make, make the headings stand out. So let's just do that real quick. Click, click up here on the number one and that selects the whole row. And then you can go up here and format it any way you want. Um, I like nice simple formatting. Some people like fancier format and they like to use the colors and things. You can play around with that. But the important thing is how to enter in the information and how to, uh, how to um, make some, some charts. So there we go. We made, we made the heading bold so it really stands out. And let's just uh, put some ages in. Let's, let's pretend maybe these are, are middle school or early high school kids. So uh, this guy's 12 and she's um, 16. and and she's 14 and uh, there's somebody else that's 12 and somebody that's, uh, well maybe 18 is a little old, 15 and a 13 and a 15 and a 17. There we go. There's some, a bunch of different ages. Now we're going to enter in the time. So let's, let's imagine, um, oh let's say they did a, uh, and I'm not a runner so I don't know all the times, but let's say they did a, a 400 uh, uh, yard race or something. So that might be like, um, you know, 40 seconds. So let's say, uh, this guy did it in uh, you know 45 seconds, and uh, and she did it in uh, uh, 38 seconds. And my times may be all wrong here, but it doesn't matter. We're just making stuff up here. And 42, and um, 51, and 42, and 53, and uh, 48, and um, let's say she's the oldest, so she's probably the fastest, so maybe she did it in 35. Okay, there we go. Now, to make a chart, there's a whole bunch of different ways you can do it, and everybody has their own preferred way. Um, let me show you a very quick way you can do it, and that is to draw a box around the, the data that you want to, the columns you want to plot, including the heading. And Excel is smart enough to know that you want to use the top row for your titles, and um, so what we're going to do is we're going to draw a box around the name and the age and just show a bar chart of the ages. And what you do is you do that and then you go up to the charts menu and it may look different on your computer or, the, or your operating system but there always should be something called charts. And then we're going to make a column chart. Uh, you can use all these other ones but that's the one we're going to do right now. So you go up here uh, to where it says columns. And it's going to give you an option of a few different types of column charts. Well, this, this version of Excel gives you a whole bunch of different ones. But let's, let's just do a nice simple column. And uh, let's do uh, what's called a clustered column. And um, there we go. Uh, it made the, the, the chart right away. And it's actually uh, pretty nice looking. It just shows the ages of the different people. And a bar chart, the, and the height of the bar is their age. Well, okay, um, that's not terribly interesting but it showed us how to make a chart. Uh, what we want to do is we want to make a chart of the times in a bar chart. So what we're going to do is we're going to, and, and when, when you move these charts around be careful, select it once and then grab it by the edge of the, bar, of, the, of the chart. Let me show you what happens if you grab somewhere else. The chart is selected right now. If we reach down here and click it wants to move the plot area which is, isn't what we wanted to do. I'll move it back where it was or you can do undo. Um, and if you grab here, it moves the, 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 um, the legend. If you grab over here, it's going to move the legend over here, or the, the, the title uh, labels, or the access labels, they're called. Um, so anyway, so we wanted to, to move it, and I just want to move this and get it out of the way because we're going to make a copy of it. So what we're going to do is right click on it and say copy, and then come over somewhere else and right click and say paste. 
And the reason we're doing this is just so that we can easily change the chart to plot the times. So you can see with the chart is selected, the, the two columns that we have plotted in the chart are highlighted. Uh, one is this green, you know, this purplish color, and the other one is this bluish color. It's very, whoops, it's very easy to just change it so that instead of plotting the age, we're going to plot the time. What you do is you go over to where it's highlighted and, and, and move your cursor until you see a hand and click down and just very carefully drag over and that moved it from column B over to column C. And it changed everything just exactly what we wanted to do. We are now have the, a bar chart with the names down here and the times plotted instead of the, instead of the ages. So I hope this has been helpful. I'm Ted and today I showed you how to make tables and charts in Excel. Thank you for watching.